what's up guys today i will be installing this 30 inch deep wave wig from grace hair on amazon the link will be in the description and all the information you guys need so yeah let's just get into this install okay so here i'm just putting the wig on getting it fitted to my head Y'all see the plucking, y'all see the, the hem. I did have to pluck this, I bleached the knots, all of that. Here I'm just cutting off the ear tabs, trying to get the wig to fit my head comfortably. I'm gonna cut both sides. Okay, so here I'm putting on my second layer of glue. I already put on my first layer of glue when I put on the wig cap. But this one's gonna be a little more hefty, a little more glue on it. You're gonna spread it thin around the cap. And I put about three layers of glue for this install. So yeah, you are gonna see me putting the layers and letting it dry clear. So now I'm pulling the wig forward, gently placing it on the glue, and I'm going to take my comb and comb through the hair, pushing the lace down into the glue so that it'll melt nicely. I start pulling out my baby hairs now everybody does baby hairs differently um, I try to do a little bit of a thicker baby hair on this wig just because it's deep wave and it's long a lot more dramatic so I pulled out a pretty decent chunk of hair and I'm gonna section it off all around my head so that I can wrap my elastic band around it and melt the lace even further as it dries <music> Now you want to get your baby hairs even, like try to get them as even as possible on each side because you don't want your baby hairs looking lopsided. Yeah, just try to make them um, pretty similar. Now I'm going to wrap this and let it sit. I went to get my lashes done in the middle of this so y'all going to see me with lashes in like the next clip. So. So now we're revealing this lace, this melted lace. I'm gonna get into cutting the extra lace off. Now, I like to use a razor. I switch between like mini scissors and razors all the time, but the razor is definitely the easiest. It's like my favorite. It helps it melt the best. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna be gluing down like the little extra pieces that's not glued down around the cap. All right, so here I'm gonna use my ORS um, heat protectant oil. It's also a shine serum, so yeah, I started using this instead of the wax stick. I think I used this once on my last install, and I just liked how shiny it looks like yeah without making the hair like any different texture or whatever so here i'm just pressing out the top of my hair trying to get it as flat as possible um don't worry about it getting like straight straight because i'm going to wet it again anyway but i just want it to be as flat as it can be <laughs> So now I'm cutting the baby hairs. Um, honestly, for me, baby hairs is always like trial and error. I just cut them while I'm doing them, decide how short or long I want them while I'm doing it. So like even after I cut them here, I definitely like trim them a little more after I started laying them. But you definitely want them to be at least like the length of your eyebrow. I don't like mine too short. So yeah. Here I'm flat ironing, well, curling the edges. I just like the like curl, like the swoop look it gives to it. I like how it looks. It makes it easier to swoop your baby hairs. But I'm using um, Eco Styler Gel on my baby hairs right now. I usually don't, 
but I kind of wanted my baby hairs to stay. Like I didn't want loose, soft baby hairs this install. Here I added some more oil for some more shine. And I'm gonna separate my hair and get to wetting it and detangling it. Um, I ended up using a leave-in conditioner. I think it was just like Razak, something I just had in my house real quick to um, give it a shine and some definition. But yeah, this is the end of the install. This is me adding the leave-in conditioner. Um, yeah, if you enjoyed this install video, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out Grace Hair. The link is in my description. And yeah, I'll see y'all in my next video. Peace.